Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with Anon Jr. We are still going through Season 1, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, and welcome to Episode 8. If you're just now joining me for the first time, I do have all the archives available on Twitch and Mixer, as long as they will hang on to the archives, and they are also available on my YouTube channel. If you are now watching this on the YouTube channel and you'd like to be notified when the next one goes up, um, go ahead, do the subscribe thing, do the little bell notification thing. I, I know you know how to do it, just uh, a little reminder that it really does help a channel out, especially when you're getting started. And if you want to watch live, I do the 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every Thursday. So, just to kind of recap real quick where we left off on that last go-round, we were finishing up Dantooine, we did the last part of our Jedi training, we took out the Mandalorian leader on the planet, and we even helped settle that little dispute between the Montagues and Capulets. Oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> Wrong names. Same story. Different names. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll just let that one quietly slide on by. And what we're getting ready to do is, after talking to the minions and upgrading stuff and making sure that we had the best that we had for all our things, we went off to the Yavin Station to see what that was all about, and then we were going to head on to Tatooine. So, let's start off and load up and see what do we have here. I was hoping I had that timed out just enough. All right. Hello. All right. Is the station just a giant hallway? <clears throat> Is this what I get to do? Run down hallways and open access panels? Oh, hello. Okay. It was Davik ship. It's under, uh, new management. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, oh, I forgot I had that. I do have the Force Persuade option. Do I really want to... Nah. I'm new. Very new. <laughs> no, I'm most definitely not one of Davix. Question I've been asking myself this whole series. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure force persuading working for Davik is not going to help me. Lying is not going to help me. I'm trying to save the galaxy. Dude, keep trying my patience. As long as you don't get all worked up, I guess I can let you in. Okay. <laughs> really? Trendosians and smugglers aren't exactly stunning conversationalists? I'm shocked, I tell you. Shocked. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to do the first persuade, but I would like to know what you mean. Then we desperately would love to know what's going on over here. Just have to fiddle with this lock. Thank you, Jammer. 
eat you ta he just like reach his hand inside the door does it really seem like he just reached his hand inside the door Ooh. nice what was that to human. What is that supposed to mean? Am I more human than human? No, I know. You see, kids, back in the day, there was this band. Alright, uh. Ooh. I wonder if he has any information on the Star Forge. Let's cut to the chase. Never heard of it. Nothing in the system except rooms of Exarchum's lore. Okay. Uh, what rooms? <laughs> the Adam's fourth moon used to hold a great number of temples dedicated to the ancient Sith. And the future home of some rebellion. <clears throat> Just saying. That does add a nice little backstory to the original uh, trilogy, though. He failed, obviously. I, I can see you don't get too much socialization there, yes, sir. Hmm. What sort of stuff do you have? Or do we have other questions we can get to first? I would like to pump you full of, for all the information. I mean, uh, find out all the information you have to offer. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. I don't want to ask about the Trandosians. I'm pretty sure I don't want to ask about the smugglers. Let's... Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's stroke his ego. You're an inventor? Let's take her with stuff I've found lying around the ruins on the island four, or that the Trandosians and smugglers bring. <laughs> of course, with them it's usually weapons and things. But I just have so many ideas that people haven't seen to come up with yet. It's really quite astonishing. You'd be surprised. <laughs> okay, uh... So why did you come here to the station? Old so we're in the Old Republic and this is an Old Republic supply depot? No wonder why we didn't see it by the time the movies came around. So this is from the battle with Exarchum. Not very roomy. I wouldn't have expected that. And it's close to the planet. Uh, um, is this going to open new conversation paths, or is that about it? Um, ooh. I do want to see what he's got to sell, and I don't want to have to go through all that to get here again. On the other hand, so you're from this system. Oh. I'm not as young as I look. Been here since the war? Um. Uh, one of the slave, all right. So if he was one of the slaves that built the temples for Exarchun, and that was 50 years ago, give or take. Yeah. Uh, 
Alright, so you're old enough to apprentice under one of the uh, where's the option to go? Da, 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 da. You look good for your age. <laughs> but I almost all died while I'm in to destroy this place, so I guess it's useless to think about it. Uh, who are the best weapon merchants in the galaxy? Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have any of their weapons to sell me, would you? <laughs> they were space selling to the highest bidder before my species got off the planet. Okay. Uh, what else can you tell me about the system? Uh, gas giant here is Yavin. I got a whole bunch of moons around it. The only really interesting one is Yavin 4. Yeah, those have been pretty much picked clean. Well, that was certainly worth all the time and effort, huh? Okay, um... Okay. Alright, so, I think we've hit all, well, let's ask about the Trangosians. Mercenaries and banner hunters, scum mostly. They look like big two-legged lizards. Do they make nice boots? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's tempting. Oh, sort of like the Rodians? Ah, <laughs> okay. Um, why are they here then? I'm here a couple of years after the war ended. Usually they don't bargain with people they find alone in abandoned space stations, but we worked out a deal. Uh, I, I get what you're hinting at, good sir. I give them a few of my more applicable inventions at reasonable prices. And they keep them supplied with food and new materials. If they haven't gone, they really make any ideas, though. Alright. Well, since we're asking everything else, let's check about the smugglers. No, I'm not playing Pazak with you. Alright, what do you get to sell me? Few things kick you around the place. Hmm. I just realized that I forgot to put together my inventory of who's got what and what kind of stats they have so that way I can shop a little easier and know what it is I need to be looking for short term memory something or other try to remember that for the next time right. I'm gonna pay I guess some more advanced things I was working on more so check back other times if I don't okay so this is apparently a shop I'm gonna have to check back with then as we level up and progress have a look Ooh. Ooh. Holy mother of credits, Batman. 10k credits. But it is light armor. The defense bonus is 6, a max dex of plus 5, and a boost to dex of plus 1, and a boost to strength of plus 1, and it is upgradable. So I can take the armor upgrades out of what I have now, add them to that, and hmm. All right. That's going to be something for when I have more money, or when I can grind out some money. Shadow armor, ooh, that's better defense bonus. Lower max dex, but not by enough that makes a difference. It is upgradable, and it gives plus four to stealth. Although, if you've been watching so far, you'll notice that uh, stealth is not among my skills. <laughs> I have a great many skills. Stealth is not one of them. Ooh. 
stabilizer gloves. A little too rich for my blood right now, still, but um, they adds plus three to dex, plus five to blaster bolt deflection. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, all right. I, I'm getting the idea. Ooh. Ooh. This is definitely for when I get 4K. Of course, if I hadn't been giving my money to every poor soul the sad story, I'd have 4K to spend on it. Uh, making me rethink my alignment decisions. <laughs> but, uh, that is an unlimited use droid upgrade that gives him a shield. But it's that unlimited uses. Because I've got a couple of the droid shields that are about as good as what you're going to get out of this. But they're limited to 10 uses a piece before you get to buy another one. Um, and I've also got all the cell stuff, but honestly, I'm not sure who needs what. Definitely keeping the flamethrower and the shield disruptor. I'm hanging on to the energy shields, the motion sensors. Um, no, I don't need that. I've got light type 2, which has a defense bonus of 4, and medium type 1. Alright, they're both a defense bonus of 4. I know there's one more droid on the slate to acquire. Um, so I'll hang on to... Ooh, the class 2. Or the type 2 is worth less. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. The bonding alloy can strengthen a melee weapon. Don't have any more melee weapons that could use that, and I don't think I'm gonna get any more that will take it. But with my luck, the minute I sell it, that's when I'm gonna come around to needing it again, so we'll hang on to that. We'll keep our stims. Uh Now, I've already outfitted everybody else, and I think the only teammate I have left to acquire is the... You know, please be easy to get back into a conversation with, because I want to go to the party selection, and that's unavailable this time. Of course it is. Alright. Uh, I'll have to go through some stuff and... Uh, What are the critters he's talking about? Do I really want to go poking around? Nope. Uh, it's not going to let me. Hi guys. Oh, I remember when that was a high res, beautiful scenery. Those were the days. I'll be back here later. Because I don't have the money to do anything that I'd want to do. But let me run through the halls and... I guess we're off to Tatooine. A desert planet with a very familiar feel to it. Almost like we visited there long ago. In a far, far away galaxy. I know. I, I keep wanting to go to the workbench and do something on there, but uh, I forget that I've already done that. We did that at the end of last week's episode, so... Oh, wait. No, that's right. We still got the, the kid. We found, towards the end of last week, and it's part of why I ended up finishing the stream a little later than intended. Uh, we're, there we go. You... Uh, 
Da, 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 da. I think. I think she is the kid that I was asked about way back when we first got on Dantooine. Um. Selima Wanga Kunbiki. I still gotta learn the language. Kipuna, Bona Nakichu. Kipuna, Bona Nakichu. Tonki ba non tontek. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, Bona Nakichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka panga. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong ki ba non tontek. Mucha shaka panga. Tonki ba non tontek. Tonki ba non tontek. Mucha shaka panga. Ton abuk shami no nok. Then we're going back to. Sorry, I know it was kind of quiet on that one, but uh, trying to figure out how to parse that one. Uh, there are some elements of this game that are absolutely fantastic. There are some that are absolutely frustrating. That was one of the latter. All right, where is Dantooine Corban? Dantooine. And away we go. Uh, I was going to switch over to the movie, but, um, oh, come on. This is going to be a lot of work just for the ship to fly across the screen, isn't it? All right, uh, let's try one more time. Come on. You can do it. The perils of running old games on modern operating systems. Come on. You know you want to. You can do it. Come on, one more time. With feeling. Just play the movie. I do wonder if uh, the game capture is interfering with this. Good thing we're not flying too often in this game. All right, let me try switching to this, and we'll go one more time. Come on. And away we go, right? Please, this time. I do not want to spend half the stream fighting with, uh, Ah! Fighting with the game. Just fly me to the planet. Skip the movie. Please?
Ja, Mann. Are you serious? Be free. Fly away. All right. Um, let me intermission real quick and let me try to fight with this thing so you don't sit there looking at my sad face. You can look at Jubba's sad face. I'm really wondering if it isn't the uh, video capture that's messing with the game switching to the video and back. Although, ever since the latest Windows update, I've been having some of the weirdest issues, although mostly with audio. So it could be related to that as well. And it could just be some of the troubles with running an old game on a new operating system. You know, I was looking for an older version of DirectX, it's trying to do some of the stuff that was fine to do before, and it's not okay now, or more likely, it was never okay to do before, but you could get away with it, and now you can't get away with it. Uh, if we're gonna drift into some of the programming stuff, it is one of those things that, um... Sorry, it looked like it was actually gonna go through that time. Uh, or let's switch back to that real quick and one more time with feeling. Don't make me force close this. I made progress. I knew I should have saved before I flew away. All right, come on, one more time. Fly. Play the video! Play the video! Alright, uh, uh, let me try... Minimizing that, just in case that's part of the problem. Alright, I swear if this does not cooperate... May just have to, uh... One more time. Switch it over to the desktop instead of the regular game capture and... <sighs> Deep breath. Deep breath. All right, uh, so I'll go back to this. Let me uh, force close the game. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Um, let me close Star Wars and restart. Um, I may have to. Oh, and now we get the video because. I don't know. <sighs> definitely, definitely gonna have to remember to save every time I fly. And we're about to go through that again, aren't we? We're about to go through that whole stinking ordeal when we leave Dantooine again. Maybe if I switch it to desktop before I go. Oh! Oh, hello, minigame. I thought we were done with these sorts of things. Yes? No? Uh-oh. Kiyama. Load up the next thing.
All right, I think next time I'm going to do all my travel off screen. <laughs> Although that would have made for an exceptionally short stream, wouldn't it have? Um, come on. There's something that'll skip it. All right. Uh, gamma. Don't make me force close this. Jerky for track on. Go ahead! Damage is critical, the hawk won't hold! I'm gonna go load the thing. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's gonna start me right back there, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna start me right back there after all that. All because the stupid thing. Oh. And we're going to have to go through all that mess just to leave the station again. You know what? I, I, I don't even want to fight with that on the stream again. So uh, I apologize for today's exceptionally short video. <laughs> uh yep yeah, no no Th this one this one really got to me uh i'm going to go through that conversation with the rodian again i'll go through the conversation with the kid again and i will go ahead and take care of handing the kid off to the caretaker on uh dantooine off screen so all this travel stuff and crashing is, oh yeah, well, it, it, it's the quiet kind of rage, you know? <laughs> you look at the river and, and, and it seems so calm and serene on top, but watch those rapids. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I apologize for the exceptionally short video, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of that off screen. I will trying to record the interaction with the the caretaker on Dantooine so that way I can append it to the end of the stream recording so it will be up on YouTube and and then next week at 6 p.m. we will start on Tatooine where there will be no more flying no more videos and no more dying because the game starts acting really weird. So normally I do this for three hours on Thursdays starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, no, there will be no stream next week. Next week is the 4th of July. Next week is the 4th of July, so no stream next week. It is the week after the 4th that we will resume back on our normal schedule of Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, this time with less rage. TM, copyright. Maybe I'll put that on the uh, merch. <laughs> Get a Games Revisited merch. This time with less rage. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Uh, 
I, I'm not going to keep fighting with this on stream. That is not fair to you guys. So uh, that this little this little this little clip will go up on YouTube exactly as is, <laughs> and hopefully I'll have some other stuff appended to the end of it, and uh, and we'll return to our regular madness two weeks from now. Those of you who are here in the States with us, have a happy 4th, have a safe 4th. I used to work for a hospital, and uh, please, please don't be one of those people that hospital employees tell stories of, if you catch my drifting. Okay? <laughs> Good night. Okay. I've had a snack. I've calmed down a little bit. I got through all the flying. I think I know how to make sure it goes a little bit smoother in the future. And now let's go take care of talking to a man about a kid. <laughs> and seeing if we can... Uh... Alright, who do I want on this mission anyway? Uh, yeah, let's add her and maybe I can earn some points with him. All right, let's go see if we can talk to the guy that was asking about the kid way back at the beginning. And see if we can, uh... You get this cool squared away. Hey, okay, take a moment time for a question. You already have. All right, uh, go ahead. Right, Right, this is the same thing that we've seen in the previous episode, so I'm going to go ahead and skip a little bit of the dialogue about his young daughter was captured kidnapped by the raiders years ago, named Sasha. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we got the right kid. Many years ago. Uh, <clears throat> there we go, there's our new conversation option. There is a stowaway on my ship by the name of Sasha. Are you certain of this? <laughs> yes. Would you allow me to see her? Yes, please. I would like only the crew I need. Unless she can handle a blaster. I mean, if she can handle a blaster, I'll totally take the kid. Um. Achuta. Right. Let us go there right now. Right. I do believe you are indeed the one I see. I am here to return you to your father. I see he was correct in your linguistic difficulties. I am positive that your parents can assist you with that. Yeah, this doesn't sound very helpful, but okay, we'll go with it. Kipuna! I think that's the right answer. I know the answer isn't just go, I've had enough of this. <laughs> and that's my only other option, so we'll go with that. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong hai duam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto dun. Financially Jila appreciative ni dupo of my efforts. Wanga kun bis jang ba mulera. I know somebody that's selling some armor. All right, well, I'll take XP and light side points. That also works. All right, guys. Get off my ship. Bye. All right. So that is done. I'm going to come to the star map. I'm going to go ahead and save. Are you sure? Yep. I am going to switch to desktop capture. As that does seem to be the way this goes. 
I'm going to find Tentuine. Where is Tentuine? The most dead looking planet on the whole stinking map. Right? Yeah. Travel. And there we go. It's working beautifully. Alright, I just gotta remember that if I know a video is coming up, switch to desktop capture. If I don't know a video is up, switch to it quick and hope that it works out alright in the end. Alright. Lesson learned. Uh oh. Am I about to be under attack again? No. Uh-oh. Dreams. That's what I was worried about. That's why I kept recording this trip, just in case there was something going on that I wanted to make sure got on a recorded episode. You can actually show me the dreams? There we go. Star map. Hidden in ruins. I keep leaning my head like I can see around the object. <laughs> Alright, and in we fly. To a very, very desert place. And anything that needs to happen now, what can I save up immediately after landing and pick it up on the stream the Thursday after the 4th? The Force has given us a vision like the one we shared on Dantooine. The Force has given us a vision oh, like the one go. we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Yeah, Tatooine is known for a little bit more than just blowing sand. But, um, that's not until, what, another 4,000 years later? <laughs> Something like that. All right, uh... It looked like it was in some kind of a cave, or maybe it wasn't always a desert. Because I don't have time to your visions does not seem like a productive use. So let's go with... Maybe it Perhaps. wasn't always a desert. Well, that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. Yeah. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alright, conversation ahead. And... Since all that is done, let me go ahead and save again. You sure? Yep, I am sure. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take this little recording, append it to the end of the super abbreviated live stream, upload that to YouTube, and... Uh, we can definitely go from there. So I apologize for the short episode, the short stream. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I won't run into these technical difficulties next time. It seems to be an issue with the way the game switches between the game and the pre-rendered video. And uh, that, that really seems to be where, where the hiccups occur. I've added a new scene to switch over to desktop capture instead of game capture, and uh, and that should be all right in the future. So, if you're watching this as it's uploaded or within the week after it's uploaded, there will be no games revisited on July 4th. We will resume the following Thursday at 6 p.m. Hopefully I'll see you at uh, twitch.tv slash anonjunior underscore live or mixer.com slash anonjunior underscore live or uh, 
Do the whole subscribe and notification thing on YouTube and you'll see when the next one goes up. Most of the time I upload right after the stream as, as quickly as my limited bandwidth will allow. <laughs> and uh, do a couple other streams throughout the week. On Fridays we I do World of Tanks as uh, a series I jokingly call the 49%. Or sorry, the 47%. I'm not even at 49% yet. Uh, the 47%, I usually do that with a couple of friends of mine. Uh, Fart Rock and Hordes of Locust. Uh, friends that I've been playing with for a long time. And on Tuesdays, I stream Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server with Arcadius and Rayest. We three founding members going through Season Zero our uh, building season where we get used to building together and streaming and doing all the fun stuff that that's involved in getting a series together so have fun enjoy